So one of you guys actually sent me this video, I think about two weeks ago, if not so. And uh, the reason why I never made the video is because I, I was kind of tired of uh, play comment, play comment type of videos. I like this version where you are you directly interact with the video. The Sero denounced her faith. And so she's about to tell us why. And I wanted us to watch this together and kind of go through with it. And if Lisaho, if you do see this video, uh, do highlight like your boy come through on a live stream on Saturday. Let's have this discussion. I'm not there to actually convince you otherwise. Uh, maybe you might have made up your mind, but to pass some thoughts with you. So people who know me, uh, know me as a born again Christian, and I guess this is my first announcement that I'm not Christian anymore. Um, and it was a very hard decision to make, but I think it is the best decision for me. And yeah, I got saved in 2019. I became a born again Christian, completely changed my life around. Um, I stopped drinking, smoking, going out, ended my relationship, became celibate. Like I was completely dedicated to God. Yeah, that's the this aspect. So when you do all these things, that doesn't say you're saved. So if you believe what Lesejo believes and you now come into the decision that you don't want to be a Christian I just want you to understand that when you start doing those or if you stop drinking you stop dating I don't know what association people have against dating because how do you end up married confusing man them drinking you stop going to the parties you stop being uh, wearing funny clothes or any of this those things that doesn't say you are saved and i started going to church every week i started serving um and i genuinely loved it like i loved serving i loved being at church i loved the community that i made um I really loved it, but I just had so many questions that were really pressing and God answered some of them, thankfully, um, but there were some questions where I just couldn't get past them. Like, I can't make peace with that and mm. those questions were just never answered. And I really loved it, but I just had so many questions that were really pressing and God answered some of them, thankfully. Um, but there were some questions where I just couldn't get past them. Like, I can't make peace with that. And those questions were never answered. And when I would speak about these questions to, like, pastors and my Christian friends and things like that, I would just get the answer that, oh, well, that's where faith comes in. Or, like, um, no, but we'll never fully understand God. Oh, no, his ways are higher than our ways. And for me, I wasn't content with that because these... Okay, so... The reason why we say that is because, or the reason why those people would say that is because we are acknowledging our human understanding of things or comprehension. And so we create room so that when we are growing, when we say we, never, we might never fully understand, that just means that we give room to where God answers. And if we don't get answers for those things, it's because the understanding around those things a little bit outside of thingy and so to me that wouldn't make me disbelieve though so you see this is where i'm questioning what exactly did you believe in the beginning having questions that i can answer wouldn't make me disbelieve because the reason why i believe in the first place is his existence makes me believe uh, but why does it do that to her i'm interested in knowing these questions were very pressing because these were things that really hurt me and I wanted to understand. Ooh, and okay, now I get it now. So it's hurt, it's personal hurt that she had a struggle with. You find a stumbling block and then that stumbling block creates an area of disbelief. This is why it's not the existence that's the issue. So we believe in God because of the existence. So her denouncing is based on personal hurt. But that doesn't dismiss his existence. Interesting. Let's go on. Like, I would just never get an answer. And I didn't like that. I wasn't content with that. So. And I just want to say to anybody that's out here saying, stop pausing it. I told you her name. You can go watch the videos. Okay? So here we react to the videos as we watch them together. You don't like that? I told you her name. You can go watch the videos. Simple. Um, the one pressing question, the biggest question that I really struggled with was the concept of free will. I don't understand 
free will i don't know how people reconcile free will with the love of god i i don't see okay <laughs> okay so that's one of the questions she had is that how does god give free will and that being related to the love of god okay that'd be, that'd be very interesting see how free will is out of love because free will means that people what? can do whatever they want no, wait, no before, how we, before we get to people doing what they want wait a minute what you say there what was that just a second so um the one person question the biggest question that i really struggled with was the concept of free will i don't understand free will i don't know how people reconcile free will with the love of god i i don't see how free will is out of love if i love you i'll give you the will to do what you want that's what free will is so that's how we come to the reconcile to reconciling it if it's a dictator who doesn't love his people who restricts them from having the will to decide but god doesn't handle so we can reconcile free will with love because it is free will that shows that he loves he gives you the option to decide like for instance you've decided to not be a christian that's free will <laughs> so what is it that you don't like because free will has given you the right to disbelieve or deny him so sometimes this is why i say sometimes it's important to have the conversations because sometimes you are burdened by something and little do you know that it, there is an answer for what you are burdened by because free will means that people can do whatever they want like but it people... also does mean you can disbelieve him what you decide to do is what you decide to do but free will is still god's love people have the ability to make a choice and that means people can choose to hurt you and god won't stop it people can hurt you and god will do absolutely nothing to okay so right now you want to leave christianity would you rather god stop you from believing do you see where the problem comes in do you see where the problem comes in it's interesting to show her that the very thing that she takes issues with because somebody did something wrong to you uh, now it does it shouldn't cause you to dismiss the importance of free will free will means god loves you enough to give you the will to decide to love him or to denounce him free will is out of love because free will means that people can do whatever they want like people have the ability to make a choice and that means people can choose to hurt you and god won't stop it people can hurt you and god will do absolutely nothing to stop it or to protect you because he has given that person free will and so they can do whatever they want and then what god will do is just try to heal you <laughs> or restore you after the trauma that you've been through but he won't stop it from happening and i couldn't reconcile that with love because God, I, I've been in therapy for six years because of the amount of trauma I've endured. And that means that God watched all those things happening to me. God watched um, people abuse me. God watched people like hurt me in unspeakable ways. And he was just like, oh, I'm not going to do anything about it because, I mean, free will. I'll just heal her after. And I couldn't make peace with that. This is a question I asked over and over again. And I'd be told that I'm asking such things because I'm prideful or I'm angry and I need... Now, it's not that you're prideful, it's that you're selective. It's not that you're being proud. No, 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 those people that didn't know how to answer that. It's that you're, you're, you're selective. That's called selective hearing. If you, uh, I can't remember what, <laughs> what it's, they call it selective hearing. It's when you decide what you're going to hear about a subject. It's when you block yourself from the other part and then you hear only your part you can only see free will as to what other people should do but you can't see how free will applies back to you you right now have the free will of saying i don't want to be a christian that's free will
So if God was a dictator and he stops free will, you wouldn't be able to do that.